Good morning. Welcome to build day 18. Uh, today is going to be a very busy day. We're starting a little early today. Um, the pumper truck for the concrete is already on site. Saw it pass by uh, where we're staying on the on the way to the job site. Um, so I'm headed there. Uh, we've also got a couple of little tradition things that they do today uh, before they start pouring concrete. Uh, one, I got a big bag of coins. Um, they say you're supposed to throw coins at the bottom of each uh, column uh, for additional good luck. Uh, same thing, we've got four white chickens and <laughs> they spread the chicken blood uh, around the uh, around the site you and the uh, foundation walls uh, to make sure that to rid off any uh, bad spirits so not taking any chances on this one <laughs> this is gonna be a forever home we want to make sure we got all the bases covered in addition to all the uh, the prayers and Hail Marys that we're doing every day anyway lots of concrete today expecting about 35 to 40 meter, uh, cubic meters of concrete for all the walls so let's get started all right so they got the pumper truck in location and uh, going through a test run uh, just uh, making sure everything's gonna work see if they can reach to the farthest points without having to set up more than once so this should work out really nice um, I've used these before when we were when I was uh, deployed in the desert uh, we were building uh, aircraft parking pads these uh, make the work a whole lot easier you can reach the farthest points of the the site without having to set up or have to have the truck right next to the pour um, all the concrete pours right into the back of this hopper right here and it goes up through the uh, through the piping and the tubes and comes out wherever the the man with the remote controls says it goes so we're getting it all stretched out to the furthest location which will be this back corner over here and that will be no problem perfect <laughs> be a busy day this morning we got pesticide guys on site uh, what they're gonna do is they're gonna throw in the uh, pesticide just immediately before we pour the concrete um, their idea of working that is that it actually stays in the the hole be below the concrete and the fumes actually stay down there and uh, will help kill the termites uh, any that are around and drive the rest up guys are gonna be mixing the uh, Insecticide, and drone. So, and they'll be, they'll be spreading that in just before we actually pour the concrete. Got the generator, little small generator pump running, and Mr. Exterminator man is already spraying the holes. So that's a good start. We'll get started on that. He was just doing a test run uh, to see that everything's gonna work right and hitting the areas that are uh, high concern first. So we're spraying the insecticide. And over here, we're starting to put the coins in the, in the columns. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, dandan po kayo sa mga gilid baka mo. Opo. Dustin, tama mo sa to nga.
0820 we've got our first truck of ready mix um, this is going to be the first one they're going to set up to go into the hopper for the pumper truck so we're getting started early this morning they're hand mixing the uh, first batch of concrete <clears throat> and the hopper uh, just as uh, slurry to get the the, pro the the boom truck primed so this one will be a little bit soupy it'll go in the bottom and they'll spread it out um, but that'll be to get the the tubing for the pumper all primed up because you can't have it really thick and uh, hard like normal concrete it's got to be loose to get it first primed up <clears throat> and then they'll start putting in the uh, ready mix from the trucks it's 8 30 and we've already got two trucks lined up uh looks like they're coming in about 10 minutes apart uh just for the first batch of five so you see they've already got the concrete mixing that's just the slurry <clears throat> and they'll start using it to get this primed up it's, watery. it's supposed to be this is the uh first batch like i said just uh, it's gonna be soupy just to get the uh mixture going through the pipes so just to get it going through the tube it'll start thickening up as soon as they put in the the first truck so there it's starting to thicken up already the water will actually rise to the top and then push out <clears throat> there now that one looks right but they'll come back to this other one and put in some more a little bit later so they get a better mix and it'll uh, push all the water out to the side <clears throat> <clears throat> move over to the other column and work on it from there go ahead and sit back So what they're doing here is they're doing the uh, the bases of the columns first as they go around and then they'll come back uh, and do the remainder to depth all along the foundation walls so they started in the the back corner hit those two on that side which is uh, the end of the garage <clears throat> and then they come around this back side of the garage uh, starting to work their way into the house um, so these, the, like I said, they're hitting the, uh, the bases of the columns first and then they'll come back and hit the foundation walls second to get it up to, up to elevation. If you notice, there is a orange string that goes this direction. That is the elevation that they need to hit on uh, the depth of the concrete this morning. And they're going to do that in two steps as they go along it'll mix well because this isn't going to set up that quickly
just start to put the feet in holes. You get up high enough, make sure I don't get the So we're on truck number two. Creep going into the hopper. Comes out through the pumper truck. Right into the hole. Let's go walk up and see it. I like this, the uh, the operator is staying right where the um, the hose is 
emptying out to so he can see directly exactly what he's doing knows when to start it knows when to stop it every time you hear that that uh truck honk its horn that's the operator telling the the truck stop start and it's all via remote he's got here in his hands much easier and faster method than having to mix it one uh, bag at a time we'll probably get this whole um, all the column footers done by this morning uh, maybe the foundation walls uh, most likely by lunch but so we'll keep a watch on it and tune you in the next segment So this is truck number three that is in here now now. And we've got the rest lined up here. This is up to truck number seven. Truck number seven. Um, they've got one waiting at the batch plant, which is truck number eight. Uh, these are five meter trucks, five cubic meter trucks. So all in all, the, the engineer is guesstimating uh, or his uh, calculation said 35 to 40 cubic meters depends on a little bit of waste here and there especially with using a pumper truck you will have small amount of waste um, so they're gonna double check at the end of the at the end of the sixth truck they'll see where they're at if they need a, the additional eighth truck they will send it from th that point it's taking about an hour for them to get from the batch plant to the site which is good timing um, looked at the uh, weight tickets uh, the weight tickets for the trucks are showing uh, the batch uh, mixture is 3500 psi uh, total strength at the end of 28 days This is the one that they use first for the uh, sloppy mix to get in the pumper truck lubricated. You see they're, they're coming back and putting more shotcrete in it. It'll mix together, the water will run out.
and they're going to put enough in here to bring it up to grade. So here we are starting over. They're going to continue down the foundation wall all the way around to each column footer and foundation wall the rest of the way around the, the, the building. cement is in the, you know, the concrete is in the hole for the column footers and the base of the foundations. They're coming back with string lines and putting in the force, first course of concrete hollow block. So they're measuring it, make sure it's at the right height, set the rebar so that they can come back later on. They'll start filling this back in with the holes in with mortar and connecting the the next layer all together place the mortar inside the holes for the first course of hollow block and this end they're still placing hollow block Kind of like I predicted, they're going to finish up the uh, concrete with the pumper truck by lunchtime. It is now, oh, come on, watch. There you go. See if you can see it. 12.05. Yep, it's lunchtime. Um, so they're wrapping up what they have left in the trucks with a little extra. They'll put it on the foundation walls. Uh, and also at lunchtime, the remaining 120 bags of cement. Check that. Check that, not 120, 50 bags. So we still have another 70 bags that are coming. We're getting in a delivery of what they call vibro sand. It's already been sifted. Um, so this will be an improvement over the previous uh, sand pile that we had where the guys had to sift through it manually for a couple days. Um, so this will be going uh, on a nearby lot. Uh, until we are able to start using it. This will be used for the uh, mortar and whatever concrete that they make by hand, such as what they're doing now. Um, the concrete that they're making now is being used to put together the uh, rest of the foundation wall and um, mortar uh, within, the, within the hollow blocks. So they do a reinforced concrete so they get using the, the ready mix, oh sorry, not the ready mix, they're using the hand mixed um, to get the foundation wall up to grade. <clears throat> and then they're gonna put the uh, hollow block underneath that. 
Well, that's a wrap on Costa Texpina build day number 18. Instead of pumping iron, we've been pumping Crete all day. So it's been going good. Um, they got all of the column footers uh, with concrete in the bottom. Um, all the foundation walls have concrete in the bottom. Uh, so they're gonna start building the concrete hollow block uh, for the foundation walls. They got partially started and they will complete those uh, within the coming days. Uh, so we should have a uh, hollow block up to the elevation of the grade beams. Um, by the end of the week, uh, within the grade beams will be dowels that will go out into the, uh, the, the slabs. So when they get ready to pour the slabs, uh, they will all be connected. So overall today, I think went very successful. Uh, we had our first piece of mechanized equipment on the site um, with the pumper truck and the ready mix concrete. It is not ordinary um, residential construction for here in the Philippines. Um, because of the size of the house, um, it is something that the engineer decided to go ahead and do um, to save time and expense as opposed to mixing the concrete uh, one uh, with a one bag mixer at a time. It would have taken them a couple of days to do what they just did this morning between 7 a.m. between 8 a.m. when the first uh, concrete went in the hole and noon when they wrapped up. Uh, with the concrete out of the pumper trucks so like I said overall a very successful day um, there will continue with doing the concrete hollow block for the foundation walls tomorrow and the remaining uh, the rest of this week <clears throat> and build up to the grade beams so that's it for today if you like today's video, please hit the like button and give me a little thumbs up down there. Um, if you would like to subscribe, hit the Casa Texpina star right down here in the bottom right hand corner. If you want to be notified when our next video becomes available, hit the little bell icon <clears throat> and you'll be notified when we upload our next video. Until then, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.